Hey, Nathan here from Nathan Star Wars Stockpile and Collectibles. Uh, coming at you with another uh, video full of some pretty kick-ass uh, collectibles. Because I got a stockpile of them. Um, got my, uh, I got my cocktail. Go grab a cocktail. Settle in. I got a tote. I got some toys. Uh, did some rearranging. Um... Here we go. So on the agenda for tonight, I believe it's 12 inch figures. But some of these totes, it's going to get to the point where it's like a fucking cornucopia of a lot of different stuff. So let's pop the lid off and uh, I'm just going to set it on the floor. Actually, give you a little... Everything is wrapped in bubble wrap. Uh, right off the bat, uh, I see one that is not a 12-inch figure. Let's get this one out of the way. We have a Power of the Jedi Special Edition 300th figure Boba Fett. I thought this was very neat. Um, yeah. Comes with, uh, with a... Open window, you can kind of peek through there at the jetpack, the missile. Um, I thought this was a really cool uh, Boba Fett figure. Uh, it's even cool. You look in the back, in the background again, uh, you have uh, Bespin. You have Slave One back there. Very neat. Uh, yep, with rocket firing backpack. Um, and then it's kind of cool. Uh, number one, you got Luke. Number 100 on Solo and Carbonite. Man, you even got Mara Jade on there. Smoking hot redhead. And then you got 300 Boba Fett. Very cool. Okay. Now, this is, a, this is a special one. You know, probably not to most people, but I believe when I got back into Star Wars collecting, this was my first gift i think this was a gift i don't remember from who and i i i think i might but i'm not gonna say because i don't remember for sure i thought these were really cool the collector series 12 inch figures uh it opened up like a book told the story over here uh very neat han solo um yeah got the uh gold foil collector series on the back, a couple different ones. You got Luke, Vader, Obi-Wan, Han, Chewie. Collect them all. Yeah. I did not collect them all. I just have a few of these. Um, but the 12-inch figures is where I started, and I thought this is where I was going to stay uh, until I started seeing everything else that was coming out. And I know uh, my, my brother had told me, he's like, just stick with, just stick with one thing. You know, and, and my, th my thing was, it's like, I am Star Wars. And it just, it went completely bonkers from there. Uh, we got Ichabel, uh Cantina Band with his uh, fan, his fan far. Uh, and this one also has a, has a special place in my heart. You open it up and you got a, you got a little card there. It's uh, two and eight from my brother. Very cool. Um, you know, on the fanfare, I don't know, it's kind of a crazy instrument. Kind of looks like a, geez, I don't know, like a, is that a piccolo? I don't know, some sort of tooty, toot, toot instrument. This one's got a little, little tear on the cover. No big deal, I don't mind. Uh, and then on the back of this one, you know, the collect them all, C-3PO, TIE Fighter, Akbar, Chewbacca again, R2-D2, and Yoda. Um, yeah, very neat. I like these a lot. Let's see, like I said, got bubble wrap on everything. And we got, we got Barkwin Dan. Hell yeah, jamming. I get that. I'm a musician myself. Not as much as I used to, but very cool, and I actually have the whole wave of this one, um, and even yeah, you'll you'll see them all. I have a uh, two of them are actually in this tote, but 
Yeah, neat. Uh, he's a member of the, the Max Rebo Band, entertains Jabba the Hutt's court. Um, I actually don't know if Barkwin Dan was in the actual original uh, Return of the Jedi. Um, I think they threw him in there in the special edition. Yeah, boy, and he's got... I never noticed that. He's got like some stains on his shirt. I wonder what he's been doing. Who he's been doing it with. Got the uh, Luke Skywalker. Hoth gear. Very cool. Uh, yeah, on a tauntaun. Surveys the frozen landscape of Hoth. I did not get the Luke on the tauntaun. I did get the Han on the Tauntaun. No, wait, I do have the Luke on Tauntaun. I don't have the Han on Tauntaun. That just, uh, it kind of shows you how much stuff I actually have. Uh, and this is part of the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Is just so I can actually know what I have. Uh, we have Chewbacca in chains. And wow, let me tell you what. This, this Chewbacca looks absolutely terrible. I mean... This could be a chamois. You could wash your car with this thing. You know. But, you know, at the time, this is, I guess this was it. Uh, and I do have another Chewbacca. That one is not much better. I don't think we actually get a decent Chewbacca until uh, the original trilogy collection. Um, I think that one looked decent. I guess it's been a while since I've seen it. I do have it, um, and I'll show that off to you as well. Next up is Luke Skywalker in Jedi gear, and he's got a big old bone. Got a big old bone. And uh, glow in the dark, dark lightsaber. Very cool. I remember uh, getting this wave for Christmas one year, and I was like, oh, my God. I actually got some really kick-ass Star Wars stuff. And then, you know, once again, that was pretty early on in my collecting, so I, uh, I felt felt pretty awesome about that. Here we go. We got a, got a Episode 1 Qui-Gon Jinn. That's very neat. Yeah. Uh, and some of these two, um, it, it looks really good back in the package. Uh, but I did open them. I did display some of these. So, you know, I guess I can't say they're mint in sealed box, but they're mint in box. That's good enough because, you know, when I, when I could uh, display them, I, I did want to display them. I set up scenes and, yeah, very cool. I thought Liam Neeson did an awesome, awesome job. <coughs> All right. The tote is empty. Now we're going to move on to everything that I've already unboxed. Uh, huh. A little parched. Let's jump uh, right into it. Um, action Collection Jawa. Uh, his eyes used to light up. And they don't light up anymore. That'd be pretty cool if they did. Um, and this was another one that I did display. I thought they were really cool. Um... The shitty thing is I bought these at Walmart when they came out. And it's like Walmart stickers back in the day. That's like once they were on, you're not getting them off. So kind of kind of a nasty blemish there. But, you know, and then if you do take the mask off, it's just like he's like a black mummy kind of thing. But I guess you're not supposed to, well, when I say mask, hood. Uh, but I guess you're not supposed to do that. So don't do that. We got R2-D2 with uh, detachable utility arms. That's a pretty cool one. And then everyone's favorite Ewok, Wicket. Comes with a spear. And um, I've had him out. I don't remember. That actually does look like it's leather. His hood. It's pretty neat. Uh, and the only one I didn't get in these these uh, kind of smaller scale twelve inch figures is R five <coughs> R five D four. And I wish I would have, you know. And then on the back here, 
Wicket confronts Leia after discovering her on Endor. Very cool. Very neat. Uh, let's see. Wow. Here we go. We've got episode one. Darth Maul and the Sith Speeder. This is so cool. I mean, look at that. Look at that grin on his face. He couldn't be happier to be out there hunting for Jedi. Um, and I really had high hopes for him. I didn't think he was going to get cut in half. I thought it was a cool way for, uh, you know, for Obi-Wan to, uh, to become a knight. Uh, but then I was super excited to see that they did bring uh, Darth Maul back. <clears throat> he, uh, he comes with his double-edged double, double -edged lightsaber. Uh, he comes with some... Uh, some stands uh, and they're clear so it does look like he's kind of flying around I thought this was awesome yeah I really like this one and I mean uh, I'll point out one more thing dude see a dentist this one I really like uh, the electronic power FX Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Labor Darth Vader <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I got this from KB Toys. And um, I was kind of disappointed. I did open it because I wanted to hear what they said. And uh, it it never worked. So I was like, whatever. I'm just going to put it back in the box. And I'm just going to enjoy it this way. And I, I think it looks very cool. Let's see. Yeah. I think that's a good shot there. <coughs> you got Vader on this side. Obi Wan on this side. Very neat. All right. We have got the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Ultimate Villain, Darth Vader. And I suppose, yeah, you could start out as Anakin and then go bad. <clears throat> this is a really cool set. This comes with a ton of stuff. Uh, you get, obviously, the body. You get Anakin's head, interchangeable hands, Anakin's tunic, belt, pants, sash, boots, lightsaber, Vader's head, the armor, the shoulder plates, headgear, undercloak, lightsaber, belt, cape, boots, and gloves. That's unbelievable. <clears throat> and look at that burnt up Vader marshmallow head. If you can see that, hopefully you can see that. Very cool. Okay, now let's uh, jump over to a couple of these smaller ones. Uh, these are the Saga 12 inch figures. We have the ATST driver. This one's from Return of the Jedi. Uh, pretty cool figure. I think it's kind of crazy that, I mean, if you look at it, he kind of looks like Director Krennic from Rogue One. And then I don't know why he's got a he's got a scar on his face. I'm not sure. And then he looks nothing like the guy on the back. And I never understood. Yeah, or the guy on the front there, same guy. Never understood why they needed such huge helmets and the giant goggles. But, you know, I suppose General Veers, you know, he wore a helmet like that. And he had goggles on his helmet. And I could understand that, like on like on Hoth, but you know, on Endor, I don't I don't get that. Mace Windu. Jedi Council. Very cool. This is a very, uh, this is a very good rendition of, of Mace Windu. Um, yeah, you buy this one and you could make all sorts of different Samuel Jackson uh, customs. Yeah, very cool. We have, from Attack of the Clones, 
Zam Wessel, a changeling, uh, or Claudite. Uh, she comes with her weird reptilian face. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought this was a really cool figure. Lando Calrissian in the Skiffguard disguise. I mean, look at the design or the the detail in that. <clears throat> Very cool. Very neat. Helmet. I did take this one out and display it, but I didn't take the helmet out because you would have had to, you know, rip that blister off the card. Uh, so I just displayed him like that with the pistol. But he does come with the force pike as well. <coughs> Another one from Attack of the Clones. We have the Clone Trooper. Uh, and this one, for some reason, uh, his helmet is yellowing. And his leg pads are like a dusty, dirty color. And I don't know if that's from running in the the Geonosius, the Geonosian arena sand, I guess. But it just stops at his crotch for some reason. I don't. I don't really understand that, but okay, whatever. Here we go. We got. Uh, Han Solo from A New Hope with the quick draw action. It's very neat. That then that's a that's a really good looking Han Solo figure right there. <clears throat> this was another one that I did take out and display because you just you got to do that sometimes. Then right. another one from uh, Saga. We have Boosh, Leia in Boosh disguise, and we have Han in the carbonite block. Uh, it did, it used to light up. I took the batteries out though. This one, I, I did take the batteries out. They were uh, getting getting low, so I did take them out of this one. I did try to take the batteries out a lot of a lot of that stuff, just so it didn't get corroded and cruddy. Um, but this was a really really cool one. Uh, and it's it's just a different kind of version because, uh, you know, they did come out with a 12-inch Han with a, was that the Collector, the Action Collection? I think it was the Action Collection. You got Han with the binders on his arms, and then you also got uh, Han and Carbonite. And that Han and Carbonite was like 3D. It didn't, like, this one's just flat. And then the 3D comes in when it lights up. Um, the other one was cool, uh, and I did see it, and I didn't buy it, and I'm still kicking myself, you know, like 20 years later, because that would have been a cool one. Um, you know, Boosh, Leia's Boosh, removable helmet. Uh, she does have the thermal detonator there in her hand. Uh, that's pretty cool. I really like this set. Well, we are just kicking ass here. This one is really neat. Attack of the Clones Jango Fett. I mean, this this set right here is it's pretty it's pretty jam packed full of full, full of uh of goodies. Um, missile launching backpack. I mean, it's a pretty good likeness of Tamora Morrison. Um, if you can kind of see that, this one is loose. Because I, I, you, you, you gotta take this out and display it. So, of course, I can only say mint in box, but it's complete. Um, you can uh, see if I can do this. I can open these wings up, and it kind of shows you the the different uh, stuff, the different accessories that comes with. And boy, oh boy, are there accessories. You get two jetpacks. You get a removable helmet. Uh, movable range finder. All the armor is removable. Connector cords. Let me see if I can get a good shot there. Uh, Camino saber darts. You get two blasters. You get the two, back, the two backpacks. 
Yeah, unbelievable. I used to have uh, another one that was mint and sealed box, um, but I sold that one, and I figured I would I would hold on to this one. Um, this one was a gift, I believe, from my brother. I don't remember. Uh, and the other one I did purchase. It's like I think I purchased it from like Fye. You know what's crazy? The stores that used to be in malls that sold uh, like Star Wars stuff like this. You know, it's just unreal. And it's, it's kind of sad that those stores aren't around anymore. Because I like ordering stuff, but I like going to the store and finding it and purchasing it myself. I mean, you order stuff, and I mean, you never know what kind of condition you're going to get that shit in. I mean, that's exactly it. It could, it could show up and be shit. Um, if you're a collector like me and you want to keep it in the package, it's, you, you, yeah, you want to go out and find it yourself. All right, we have three items left, uh, very cool items, I might say. Power of the Jedi, Sith Lords, we've got a Vader, Darth Vader, and we got... Darth Maul. Uh, I was really, really excited to find this set. Um, and I actually remember when I bought this set, I went up to, I went up north. I'm not going to tell you where. Secret, secret. And uh, it was my stepsister's wedding. And I went to a, a Toys R Us. I was like four and a half hours from where I live. And I went to a Toys R Us and I found this. And it just, it just blew my mind. Uh, cause I had no idea that this was coming out. Uh, Vader, you get a removable helmet. You get his lightsaber. Uh, you can reenact him getting his hand. Let's see, where is it? Reenact getting his hand cut off. And then, I mean, the, uh, the packaging is really cool. You know, you get that bright green from the, the power of the Jedi against the red of Maul. You know, the black of Vader. And then Darth Maul. Uh, yeah, he detaches at the waist, so you can, you can actually cut this motherfucker in half, which is pretty neat. Um, and then the look on his face, he's like, damn, I'll be back. Um, you know, and then you look on the back, um, and I don't know, it's just a shame. I think it's a shame to get something this cool, and then you're just going to open it, you know, and to each his own, you do what you want with it. Uh, but I, I think this is just way too cool to throw in the garbage. So, you know, the, the artwork. Then you get the pictures on the back. You got a young Obi-Wan, you know, fighting Maul. Qui-Gon's just been cut down. And then you got Luke just, yep, giving it to Vader. And that is such an awesome photo. Very cool set. Yeah. I really like that one. <clears throat> uh, next up, we have got the Collector Series, Luke Skywalker versus Wampa. And as much as I wanted to open this one, I didn't. I really wanted to display this guy, but um, I just figured that I would leave it like this. Um, this one does have the yellowing, I don't know, the pea stains. I don't know what these guys do in their ice caves. Um, and then Luke. Um, and this Luke, he doesn't look too beat up. I know the Luke on the Tauntaun, I think he looks kind of beat up. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's from the Collector Series. Uh, very cool set. This was a gift, once again, from my brother. Um, you know, he at first was really pushing me to stay with the 12-inch figures. Um, and they were the way to go there for a while, but then they kind of quit making them. That's a cool shot of the Wampa there. And then they went to Sideshow. And I mean, Sideshow Collectibles does a hell of a job, but I just, I don't know. I can't, I can't afford stuff like that. And on the back, you got the Wampa <clears throat> in the cave. You got the bones there, eating on the bones. Um, I was a big fan of the Wampa. Uh, I thought the special edition did a really good job, uh, you know, getting some more shots in there of them. Um, I did like the deleted scenes. I wish we could have seen 
uh, the Wampa in in uh, Echo Base uh, attacking. You know, and there are deleted scenes, but they're kind of kind of cheesy, kind of chintzy. Um, I really like the deleted scene where the uh, the snow trooper gets pulled in. You know, and they close the door just as Vader walks up. I think that would have been cool to see in the movie. Um, but it was it was cool to see it as as a deleted scene as well. Let me uh, here grab a drink. Got I got this one. Oh, and I do have one more. I do have one more there in the back. This guy right here. Wow. Now that is awesome. This one, I you you gotta take this out and display it, and not throw the box away. That's exactly what I did. You got a sand trooper with a dewback. Man, this thing is a monster. That is so cool. I don't even know if I can get this thing in the shot. Hopefully that's in the shot. <clears throat> uh, this is Power of the Force. Very neat. Posable neck, legs, and tail. Positionable figure with an authentic, <clears throat> excuse me, authentically styled uniform and accessories. Uh, and the actual length is 32 inches. For real. Very cool set. I really like this one. Uh, yeah, Sand Trooper. Um, he looks pretty clean. He must have just got on the job. Yeah, I really like this one. It's got kind of the uh, kind of the window there. Star Wars on top. And of course, the Power of the Force 2. Uh logo yeah very neat very cool <clears throat> uh excuse me for one second jump out of the shot <clears throat> okay i'm back and i got power of the jedi tarples with the kadu I bought this the same time as that I bought the uh, the Sith Lord set, and I mean, even this one, it's just like, holy shit, this is unbelievable. Very cool. Very cool, you know, and it's part of the Jedi, so you got the, got the logo, where is it, there it is, you got the logo, it's a young Obi-Wan, Vader, um, really cool, <clears throat> energy ball, handheld weapon, uh, Battle Feathers, let me try and read it sideways, Reigns fit into the carpal tunnel, er, carpal tunnel, Captain Tarple's hands, very cool, um, and I don't think, yep, yeah, mint and sealed box, I just enjoyed this one in the box, um, uh, you look at the, the detail on the clothes, yeah, that's really cool. That's uh, that's detail right there. You know, and I think at the time, it's like, I think I paid like $35 for this. I mean, it's like, I want to go back to the day where you can like purchase this for like $35. I mean, now you, something like this, it's like, it'd be like $70. But I'm getting old. You know, back in the day, football cards were 50 cents a pack. <laughs> No, these fucking Pokemon cards are like $6 for five of them. It's like, what is that bullshit? Whatever. That's another video for another time. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, I will have more 12-inch figures coming up as I uh, get more into the totes. Uh, got a huge open space here. Uh, we're going to slide down the 6-inch figures. Um, I believe the next one will be the 6-inch figures. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, I did find more three and three quarter inch figures. So we're not even done. We're not even done with those yet. Um, I don't know if you remember back in the 30th anniversary cards. I said, man, I don't know why I didn't purchase some of these. These are really cool. Well, you know what? I did. And I, I forgot I had them. I forgot I, I owned them. And they're, they're back in the dungeon. Uh, and I found them. So once again, uh, you know, that's half the reason why I'm doing this. I've said this at the beginning of the video, but 
I, I don't know what I've got. Um, I know I've got a lot of stuff. Um, and you know, I, I have one tote and that, that, that could be like four to five episodes right there. Um, but we'll, we'll find out what happens. You know, I just sit down here with a cocktail, uh, and I, I talk and I show my stuff off. I hope you enjoy it. Um, like subscribe. Uh, I try to put up a new video. I think so far I've, I've done every Sunday. I put up a new video every Sunday and I'm just going to continue to do that. So, um, yeah, have a good night, afternoon, morning, whatever it is. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Peace.